Do I believe in the idea of the one? No. I think that there's probably a one for every day. It could be a different one. I want to say yes because I think I found someone I feel really great about, so I want to think that's the one. But I'm not entirely sure that there is just one. Um, so I'm iffy about it. What makes me say that? Because I've only met one. What if I'd met two? Or what if I meet two? Right now there's just one. This one's pretty good though, so I'm not looking. <laughs> uh, do I believe in a one with for whom I'm destined? I would say no. I think the question of the one is one who is, it's more a question of willing the one, that there's an amalgamation of circumstances that conspire, if you will, towards the possibility of a commitment, but then it's, it's a, there's an internal movement that wills the one into being. But it's not a question of destiny as much as it is a question of uh, a propitious action, that there are circumstances that can arise at any particular juncture, and they may arise for any variety of reasons, but then once they come, it is a, there's an internal movement of a, of a, of a gesturing towards uh, a consolidation or towards a, a movement towards the infinite that says there is this one that I will succumb to, if you will. So, what does this all mean? Who we are and who we become depends, in large part, on who we love. Do I uh, believe there is one person in the world? That, uh, obviously, yes, because we are now well on our way to a 60th year of, uh, of marriage. Well, I did not believe that, and I don't believe that. You know, you're going to wonder how we ever spent 59 years together. <laughs> but um, I feel like there is actually the one, the one out there somewhere. Um, but I think that, you know, I or other people won't find that person until I, like, become my own idol, like the one that I would want to be my the one because when you really really love something this is my philosophy um, you create a magnetic center in yourself and so ooh, so the same things are like attracted to it I think he's gonna be a vaudevillian I don't know how do you know how do you know the right tattoos to get I don't know but is that necessarily only one person is there only one other out there for each of us? Um, it's true that, and sometimes to the distress of fathers, that infants are born with a biological orientation to have one attachment figure that's primary and then some secondary ones. Um, when sometimes dads feel put out at that, but that's just the way it is. Infants are not born to have, with the biological orientation to have multiple um, equally important attachment of figures. Their orientation is toward one, and whether it's a man or a woman doesn't really matter, but um, uh, their orientation is toward one attachment figure that's primary and then subsidiary ones. And with that one, there is that physiologic kind of communion and intensity. And, and that may be where it comes from. Really what the urge is for is um, probably not for one person to satisfy every need you have, but for the feeling of that kind of deep bond and communion that's not only um, kind of emotional but also physical and neurophysiological um, that you feel um, whole or regulated. Um, you feel like you don't need any more or you don't need anyone else um, in that sense. It's kind of like the feeling you have after eating. You're like, well, you could have some more but you don't need it. You're full. You know how people say Oh, this is the best dinner ever I've had. This is the best dinner I've ever had, or this is my the best uh, neighborhood to live in, or whatever. And then a week later, they'll go to another dinner and say, "This is the no, this is the best dinner ever." And I think that um, they're both the best, and it's there is a one, but it's it's the same one for everybody. We all end up in the same place, and it's not like it doesn't matter. Uh, who you're with when you get there, it's kind of like, who can you get there with? You must remember this, a kiss is still a kiss, 
A sigh is just a sigh The fundamental things apply As time goes by And when two lovers woo